Noisily was really initially just a party with 400 people. It's evolved into something much bigger. We try not to be bound to the latest trends. It's a counterculture festival at its heart. I've been going for the last four years and running a camp at Burning Man, and that's an incredibly inspirational place. And you see things there which you wouldn't see anywhere else in the world ever. You know, even if I can bring a tiny bit of that back, then I'd be happy. We, we want to be a festival which fosters self-reliance. From the very beginning, it's been a sustainable and very green conscious festival. At its soul, it is a rave in the woods. We do put a huge amount of effort into our lineup. We have a mix of underground electronic dance music. We have techno on, on the noisily stage. We have psytrance on the liquid stage, drum and bass and bass music on the treehouse stage. We're about community building and we're about bringing people together where new relationships are formed. It's getting back to nature as well, you know, like it's an amazing excuse to go somewhere beautiful. You know, London and other big cities have their charms and their, their benefits, but so rarely take the opportunity to go back to nature and to really enjoy beautiful places in the UK. The woodlands themselves, you know, lend to getting lost. You can, although you're not supposed to, <laughs> sneak off into the woods and it's an amazing place to explore. It does lend itself to getting away from your normal life. It's the most um, reinvigorating experience to be able to do that. That complete experience mixes music, wellness and art. It's a really rounded offering. My name is Lockie Gordon, director of Noisily Festival. Can't wait to see you in the woods from the 7th to the 10th of July.